got a few settings. In a sec, folks. Close that down for a minute. Open that up. And over here, and we are live. Very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> there we are. We are live. Very good. Okay, we can close that off. We'll keep this open. Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here. We're over at the intersection of <laughs> Balsam and West 4th Ave down here in Kitsilano. So let's head on out and see what Vancouver's like today. I'm going to swing by the Granville, Public Mar Granville Island Public Market and we'll see what that's all about too. So here we are on Balsam Street right now. This would be Balsam Street north of West 4th Ave. And we're just gonna turn around the corner. We're gonna head down West 4th Ave. Then meander over to Granville Island. Let's see West 4th Ave. You turn the corner and all of a sudden you're just into busyness. Here we are, just passing the local McDonald's and the Kitsilano Barbers. Looks like they're pretty busy at the Kitsilano Barbers today. Hey, Jeffrey, nice to see you too. Just over here in West 4th Ave. This area is known as the Kitsilano Business uh, District or BIA, Business Improvement Area. And it's around, around 12 degrees right now. It's gonna get up to 14. So it's gonna be a pretty nice day today here in Vancouver. Hopefully we can throw a little sunshine uh, my way to my uh, friends back in my hometown who are dealing with a little bit of snow right now. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. <laughs> You're using very Canadian vernacular right now. <laughs> We're being all the way over on the other side of uh, the Atlantic Pond. And of course, we're over here in the Pacific. Howdy, howdy. A few other people come onto the stream. We're just over here on West 4th Ave in Casalano. This whole neighborhood that Casalano Business Improvement Area is in is called Kitsilano. And a lot of people just refer to it as Kitsch. And one of the most popular locations in Kits would be the Kitsilano Beach, which is over a couple more blocks that way. <laughs> and a little bit further north that way, too. <laughs> it is Scotland, dud. <laughs> uh, I'm putting a chuckle on my face today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> or thanks, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's appreciated. Over here, we got two major food trucks. You'll see them over at different farmers markets as well. We got chickpea right here. And do a lot of uh, non-meat food. They got a great little falafel there, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant. And over here is the, the crack on truck and you can see them also on occasion over at 555 Burrard Street in the downtown. <laughs> yeah, I'm heading this way. <laughs> heading in that direction. And of course, while we're on our walk here, we'll cross Burrard Street and head on over from Kitsilano into the Fairview neighborhood. 
But for now, we're gonna be in Kitsilano. And this is a major retail strip too. This retail strip serves a lot like a, a North American mall, particularly a Canadian mall. Like you'd see Architurex in a local mall if you're anywhere. <laughs> if you're anywhere in uh, the rest of Canada, but over here, of course, you see it in the outdoor strip because the weather's just so nice here in Vancouver. While we wait, we can take a look at these gorgeous cherry trees here. Down here on West 4th Ave, they are quite a bloom. Quite a blooming, and you'll see a few more cherry trees as we move along. This would be U Street and West 4th Ave. And across the street, there would be the Parallel Coffee Roasters. Very popular place for breakfast right now, but we're gonna walk past an even more popular place. And it should be the Jam Cafe. And the Jam Cafe is lined when I was uh, <coughs> calling up a friend today who's actually over at the Jam. I was like, how's the line today? If I walk past it for a live stream, is it going to be busy? They're like, we're stuck outside at the end <laughs> and we haven't even got in yet. <laughs> Looks like it's a 10 to 20 minute wait. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, so. Ah, and it looks like it is. Here is the lineup ahead of us here. We're in the Jam Cafe, popular breakfast place here in Vancouver. So popular, people will wait a very long time to get in. So, it's not only a restaurant that people like, this is the Jam Cafe line right here. It's also a restaurant that people want to be seen in. You know, so you can talk to other people and be like, yeah, I went to Jam on the weekend. You know, you can show it on your Google history. There's the Jam Cafe logo for you. They are a chain, so they have other locations. But definitely something to check out. Look at that line up there. Wow, that's a long line. <laughs> Just wow. Okay. Let's keep going here. West 4th Ave has a vibrant Saturday-Sunday culture, both during the daytime and in the evening as well. So there's lots of bars and restaurants over here like Bimini's and a few other places that you can go. Sorry folks, just straighten things up. There you go. <laughs> Hazards of the job. <laughs> Gimbal management. <laughs> 101. <laughs> Here we are at Arbuta Street on the West 4th Ave. And that would be Sophie's Cosmic Cafe across the street there. That's another popular place for breakfast. Let's cross. Hey, you see a few people waiting outside right now. So it'll only get busier. Lunch goes until around, or uh, brunch goes around until around 2 p.m. in this neighborhood, typically. And after that, it gets quiet for a couple hours between uh, 3 to 4, and then picks up again for dinner time. And of course, in, with brunch will be the breakfast goers, the brunch goers, as well as the lunch goers. They all kind of get lumped together. I'll keep walking on West 4th Ave here. Lots of different shops also to see in the area. Looks like Turf's got a new community based. What? This would be Turf on over here. You can see busy outdoor patio. <laughs> Don't eat the squid, jam cafe. <laughs> Stole Sophie's lunch. <laughs> Today, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> Thanks, I put a chuckle on my face too. Nice to see you, Don't Eat Skin, on the channel, as well as uh, Jeffrey and a few other people enjoying it in the background. That's okay. I like sitting in the background too sometimes and just uh, chilling out, enjoying the sounds of the cars walking by. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so it's really easy for me to get down here from UBC. Just jump on the 99 and then just walk up Balsam Street from a Greek town. So it didn't take a long at all. Oh, we'll cross Maple Street here. Across Maple Street, we have an active uh, patio today. There are several people just out there picking up their food and just bringing it on over to the patio to sit down outside, enjoy the sun, chat with friends in the neighborhood. We'll continue to go here. Hey, Beerus, nice to see you too. Beerus Canada is on the channel, as well as Donnie at Squid. And Jeffrey, it's good to see you, Ebeers Canada, on the live stream as well. Looks like Lumai, it's kind of busy today. Not like fully packed, but definitely decently frequented. Right, we're just passing Lavidas. Nice little restaurant over here. And here's the kitchen corner. It's a lot like a dollar store. Not everything's a dollar though in there. <laughs> dollar store mixed with a hardware store. It's a lot like if you wanted a Vancouver equivalent on the east side of town. It's like the Welks over in the South Main neighborhood. Hey, John Burke. Nice to see you too. Beer scanner is on the, on the uh, stream as well as Don't Eat the Squid and Jeffrey. Good to see you also on the stream. Just over here on West 4th Ave. In the Kitsilano neighborhood. You can see it's quite busy today. Lots of people. It is supposed to get up to 14 degrees today. Currently 12 right now. There is a minimal breeze. So it's a beautiful, beautiful day, and the first wave of cherry trees is already in full bloom. So, if you want to see one of those blooming cherry trees, just keep your eye out as we walk down the street, or you can scroll on back in the live stream. Some people I know can scroll on back while they're watching, while other people, you have to wait depending on what browser and computer you're using, or TV and all that stuff, but there is a nice little view of one of the cherry trees over at U Street. And so if you want some good cherry tree sightings right now in the Catsilano neighborhood here in Catsilano, okay, and that would be over at U and West 4th Ave. Here's Romero's. <laughs> they got some killer burgers over here. Now usually this parking lot will turn into a patio in the summertime, but not yet. And they just do the patio strictly for the summer. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep walking here. Ah, there goes a military truck right there. How are you? We are very close to a few military spaces here. There's a military space right on West 4th Ave here, further to the west of us, over in the West Point Gray neighborhood, closer to me in UBC. Now be over on the Jericho lands. And then there's also a military installation over on Barrage Street over here. And that would be the military truck right there. Painted green. This looks like a Ford. Big old Ford truck painted green. Uh, it looks like it's heading on over to the Seaforth Armory. That's their standard colors. <laughs> yeah, and they're in uniform too. <laughs> hey, Zeta, nice to see you too. Yeah, I want to do a little bit of an earlier live stream. So that other people from Europe can get on the stream. It's good to see you coming in eh? from the UK. John's here. Hey, Beers Canada's here. Don't Eat the Squid's here. And Jeffrey's here as well. Good to see you on the stream too. This would be Barrage Street here. 
And uh, just two blocks up that way, that would be where the armory is. So that's where that military truck's gonna be heading. <laughs> In my shoes, 4K, nice to see you too. Nice to have somebody in from Budapest. Very cool. Don't always get someone from Budapest, but every once in a while, it's good to have you on the stream as well. Zane is here. John's here. The Beer is Canada's here. Donnie the Squid's here, and Jeffrey's here as well. Good to see you here too. Just strolling along West Fourth Ave. Now that we've passed Burrard Street that I just showed you, we've crossed over from the Kitsilano neighborhood and the Catsilano Business Improvement Area, which was that retail strip. And we're still on the Catsilano Business Improvement Area strip, but we're in the Fairview neighborhood now. Okay. So this is where we are. And if you see the banners hanging from the trees, when I pronounce Catsilano, which is different from Kitsilano, Catsilano is just a different pronunciation that they used to have here over in the Kitsilano neighborhood. Not quite sure what the roots are, but generally it usually comes from indigenous groups. So that's something I'm definitely gonna have to look up now. But uh, definitely interesting to see all the different layers that you can have in a community. So you can have both a, a business improvement area where businesses work together to help promote the area um, that can cross different borders between neighborhoods as well. In this case, between Kitsilano that we were just in and uh, over here in the Fairview neighborhood now. We're going to head on over to Granville Island. Okay, and we're not too far away from that either. There's one of the no-fill grocery stores across the street there in the bottom of that <laughs> building that I tend to go into. Yo, honk your horn. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see ya. <laughs> the local YouTuber passing along. <laughs> Every once in a while you see them. <laughs> very, very cool. Hopefully she got her shot. <laughs> I'll keep walking here. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the grocery store that I sometimes shop at. The other grocery store that I tend to shop at over in uh, this side, on the west side, where I happen to live, is the No Frills over at the Jericho Village, too. But it doesn't have everything. And the no frills they just showed you out, out on this street here has the, the nice pepperoni. I can pick that up over here for our pizzas that we make at home. And a few other ingredients that you wouldn't find over in the Jericho Village ones. It's a little more Caucasian and this one has a little bit more of the other things, other sauces and stuff that my uh, husband from uh, Asia <laughs> truly enjoys. <laughs> So let's keep walking here. Just passing by the Granville Island Animals Hospital and across the street and just a, another two blocks up, we'll be heading on over down Anderson Street into Granville Island in the Granville Island area. Over here is First Street. We're going to stop right here. I got a big camera. We're not judging anyone else. So if they cross the street against the light, that's their own thing. <laughs> well, let them do them. And I'm going to stop here at the corner just because it's difficult to manage a camera and a live stream. Oh, at the same time, this would be 4th Avenue Fur. And yes, you can see the Tesla business across the street has been quite busy right now. A lot of people looking into EVs. Vancouver is one of the few places where EVs does make a little bit more sense. It doesn't get too cold here. 
But I do have a few friends over in Calgary and Edmonton who were like, those EVs stopped working when it got really, really cold here. So I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, hopefully all of this uh, EV talk will help improve battery quality in the next few years. You can, and we'll see giant leaps in innovation. That would be really cool. <laughs> Let's keep going here. Over here we are still on West 4th Ave. This is the more of the area where you got a few of the car businesses and a little bit of a mix between the industrial area and it's gentrifying because you can see stores across the street like Exposure here and that's a thrift store. So this neighborhood is changing over time but it still has a little bit of its industrial characteristics here because that's what Granville Island was originally, it was an industrial area. And now it's become a very, very touristy area with businesses and bars and restaurants and stuff like that. But it's still an active industrial site with the Heidelberg materials factory that's on the island as well. That one does concrete and asphalt and cement and all that stuff. Hey Camilla, nice to see you too. In my shoes, 4K's on the stream. Zena's on the stream. John's on the stream. And Beers Canada's on the stream, as well as Don't Eat the Squid and Jeffrey. Good to see you also on the stream. <laughs> and we'll keep walking down West Worth Ave here. Up ahead of us. Above us, that is the Granville Island, or the Granville Street Bridge. So we'll head on down this way. So take us on to Anderson Street. Take a quick peek at had some artwork over here. These are some murals that were put up by the Bill Reed Gallery back in the day and some local graffiti artists. Of course, indigenous graffiti artists. Isn't that so cool? That is pretty cool. <laughs> I really do enjoy the indigenous art that comes out of Canada. Both back in my home, old hometown, which was the Anishinaabe. And over here is the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh in uh, the Vancouver area, in the metro Vancouver area. So, slight differences in styles, but you know, each one, both the Anishinaabe as well as the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh, really like to have those like, popping dark lines around everything. It makes everything a little bit more pronounced. With vibrant colors, of course the Anishinaabe ones have a whole bunch more vibrant colors and then uh, some of the stuff that comes out of the west coast but that's just style and preference mm. just waiting for a few cars to pass here you got to be careful on the street this would be west third ave over here And it can get busy. And then once we cross the street here, we're back on Anderson. So it gets a little weird right around that corner there, but that's just how it is. That's what it says on Google Maps and on the city maps. So <laughs> such is life. And you can see a lot of people are just heading out today. Stopping by, getting some food probably over at Granville Island. Enjoying the culture, maybe getting a flight over at the Granville Island Brewery, stuff like that. I myself have to meet up with friends later today, and uh, we'll be going downtown and heading around, enjoying ourselves <laughs> for a hangout. Looks like we can cross, so we'll cross West 2nd Ave here. And here we are, over at Granville Island. Let's get that uh, Granville Island sign shot first. <laughs> there it is right there, the start of the classic Granville Island sign. Don't eat the squid, says, Granville Island is long overdue to become car free in my opinion. Hmm, 
Yes, I would agree with that, so long as the businesses are allowed to bring their cars in um, and the Heidelberg factory is allowed to be active. But for people that want to come on in, yeah, that's a tricky one though too, you know, because where are people going to park? Vancouver's still a very car-centric city, so we really need to change that up. And where would be those big parking lots, okay? We are looking to build more buildings along areas like West Broadway and West 4th Ave. In the future, as the Broadway subway extension project happens. So, yeah, that's a tricky one. But they could definitely host some driverless days. Like back in my hometown of, uh, of uh, Toronto, the Kensington Market has pedestrian Sundays once a month. I think Granville Island could do it more often where it's just a pedestrian day at Granville Island. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. But yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with having that opinion. Don't eat the squid. And uh, you know what? It's, it's not a bad idea. There's the Granville Island sign for you one more time. <laughs> As Jerome tries to get a nice shot of it. <laughs> So, not a bad idea at all. Let's keep going here. <laughs> Don't eat the squid. Oh, you're from TO. I'm from Vancouver now, living in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, originally from, uh, I'm originally from uh, Toronto. And uh, of course, I live over here now in Vancouver. But I did live over here over 21 years ago as well. So. And um, work just asked, hey, do you want to go back to the West Coast? We need someone out in the West Coast. So um, I'm the one who got asked, and uh, me and my partner came all the way over here. So we're here now. <laughs> I've been here for a year and a little bit now. So good times. Can't complain. Love in Vancouver. Uh, if you can live in Toronto and work in Toronto, you can live in Vancouver and work in Vancouver too. Hey. <laughs> so here we are. This is Duran Low Street. We just came off of Anderson Street. I'm not going to meander over to the back first before we head on over to the market and just swing past Ron Bassford Park and uh, the Sea Village for you. So let's see here this uh, busker over here is rather good so if the live stream isn't available immediately after the live stream it's just because I'm dealing with some uh, copyright issues and that's my problem to deal with not the busker so if you got money you have your money I just gave away some of my money already to another busker coming out of the subway station <laughs> <laughs> Why did subway station come off of my mouth there? It was over at, it was over on Westworth Ave. <laughs> wow, it's one of those days. And that just happens. <laughs> What's this? Oh, they're having a farther Tartine indigenous play. Oh, it's almost done. It's it was playing for one more day today over at the theater here. The theater is over here. Waterfront Theater. <laughs> oh, very nice. Don't eat the squid. You're from Vancouver and you're now living in Toronto. Well, such is life. Such is life. Yeah, I can't complain over here in Vancouver right now. Though, there's plenty of things I miss from my hometown. So... I'll keep walking here. We're currently on Cartwright Street. A lot of busy areas here. We're going to go through Railspur Alley, and that'll take us over to Ron Bassford Park. Okay. And that way we can cover part of that. So we'll cross the street here. And this is Old Bridge Street. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. It is quite bright here today. 
Hey Sarah, nice to see you. Well, hi from Vancouver today. We're over at Granville Island. Joni the Squid's on the channel, Camilla's on the channel, my, In My Shoes 4K is on the channel, Zane is here, John's here, Ibiris Canada's here, as well as Jeffrey as well. So good to see you on the stream too. <laughs> You know, saying beautiful blue sky. Yeah, I agree with you. It's very vibrant blue today. Over here on Rail Spur Alley. This is the Artisan's Alley. You get everything from literary arts to craft sake, which is a Japanese alcohol over here. And there's this nice little bistro over here which is very popular. If you ever want a quiet place to get away to, and this bistro is quiet. And then over here, they also have this nice little cafe area where anyone can bring some food if they want to and just chill out and relax. <laughs> Jody the Squid's like, the sake place is good. Yeah, it is good. It probably will get a little busier later. This is the artisan sake maker over here. It's so good. Multiple types of sake. There's a few people in there right now, actually. So, hey, it's not certain the higher. It's not certain the small stuff. <laughs> and we just got a recommendation. So, hey, what can you say? Thanks. Don't eat the squid. That does help the stream. And of course, if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button right now and it helps shoot the stream out to more people, which will be really great. So I just got to talk over this uh, busker because he's really good too. <laughs> mm -hmm. So awesome. Just making sure I don't run into a tree. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time Walktubers run into a tree. <laughs> That'd actually make a pretty good short though. <laughs> and over here we have a few different art galleries and different businesses and a cafe I believe is called Origins. I don't spend as much time over here. So that's why I wanted to bring you over here. Propeller, there's the coffee roasters. Right here in the Federation studio. Look at this, it's so busy. So busy. Origins is closed today, wow. Not surprising. Uh, hey, they do they. <laughs> And I'll let them do they. <laughs> Let's cross the street here. Look at that hair. Wow. That was really purple. <laughs> Walk over here. Here's the Performance Work Theater. And there's lots of different theaters in the area around here. It's just going to get quiet for a few minutes here as we walk through Ron Bassard Park and over to the Sea Village. Just showing you parts of Granville that you might not be aware of uh, as well. So this would be Ron Bastard Park right here. I'll walk past the sign right here. Nice little green area in the neighborhood. There's a sign right there, Ron Bastard Park. Okay. And Honorable Stanley Ronald Bastard was with the Progressive Conservatives. And he was a, a member of parliament for Vancouver Center from 1963 and served as a minister from 1967 to 1968. And he worked on the Canada's first Human Rights Act and progressive urban development, that's his legacy. And it's on this sign here. So you can come back and freeze that. And he was also remembered as Mr. Granville Island. So you can come back and freeze that and uh, check it out later. If you're interested in reading that. And here is one of the stages for the theater over here, an outdoor stage. 
and then you know, the theater can open its doors over here. But it's quiet over here because this is a park. <laughs> so we'll get back to the business at the end. We're not too far away from the market. But over here, this is Alder Bay. This is where some of the canoers will start. And this is part of the Granville Island Boardwalk right here. You can see the boardwalk right here. It goes pretty much all the way around Granville Island. There's a few breaks. And there you can see the canoeists in the water. And those would be racing canoes. Very cool, eh? And there's a few kids in recreational kayaks as well. That looks like a kid and a dad. That's cool. Very cool. Of course, the Falls Creek uh, Canoeing Club is over here. And this is also where you can uh, learn how to do dragon boat canoeing and that type of stuff. And across the street here, that's the Fairview neighborhood right there. Silhouetted in the background, the cross and the, a very busy seawall path, as you can see, if you got some good eyes. No, it's a little silhouetted in some shade. And here's a nice lookout point at Ron Basford Park. If you want an even better view, there's a hill over here. Hey, Hunter, nice to see you. Over here on Granville Island. We're just on the south side of the island right now. Don't eat the squids here. Sarah's here. Camilla's here. Zane is here, In My Shoes 4K is here, John's here, Beers Canada's here, as well as Jeffrey. It's good to see you as well on the stream. Nice, nice. There's a nice little, even further, a better lookout if you want a really good cow photograph of Vancouver and False Creek. You can take it from right up there. And of course, these over here, these are all cherry trees. And these are going to go in the second round of cherry trees. So they're not going to blossom right now. We'll come back here and check that out. Kafer, nice to see you too. There's a lot of people on the stream today. So I'm going to stop calling out people's names. It's good to see you on the stream too. We're over on the south side of Granville Island. By the Pelican Bay Marina. And this would be the Pelican Bay Marina over here. It's a different marina over there. And we're over by the Sea Village and the hotel here on Granville Island. Not everyone knows that there is a hotel here on Granville Island, but it's right on over here. Not sure what the prices are, but you can check that out yourself. And the marina over here, this is the Pelican Bay Marina. <laughs> Not sure why it's called Pelican Bay, but hey, such is life. A very, very good question to ask. Not everyone gets to go back here. A lot of people can figure out, oh, you're at the Granville Island Public Market, or you're at the, you're at the uh, Richmond Public Market, you know? You're at a public market. People can tell that right away. Or, or you're at English Bay Beach. But not everyone knows this part of Granville Island. And that would be False Creek there. False Creek is an inlet here. Um, that, kind of, that is part of the Pacific Ocean. So there's the Pacific Ocean right there, you can see. And you can see Science World in the background if you got some really good eyes. There's a nice little restaurant back here too. And in the summertime, this becomes a bigger part of the dockside restaurant that's here. And there's more of the hotel over in the background here. Looks like they have Julian uh, doors over here, or patios, yeah, so you can at least open the windows all the way. You can see a few people are back here right now. <laughs> over here is the Sea Village. This was brought in during the 2010 Winter Olympics or established for it. And uh, there's people who live in houseboats right here and see some of the different houseboats as we're walking along. We can't go down in there. There's a, a gate with a lock on it. So we won't be able to head on down in there, but we can at least from 
the boardwalk here, take a look at some of the houses here. And this public park area over here is where sometimes you can find some people who live in the Sea Village just chilling out. And see all different types of housing in housing design. Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Well, they get a lot of tourists who walk past here. So that's why they try to keep it private. Well, it looks like we got one of the resident locals sending themselves on the, on the boardwalk here. Canadian geese. I'm just going to walk over to this side. And they are very strong. You don't mess with them. Just walk them by, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Here's some of the homes right here. And you can see just like regular homes, but they're just on water. Fascinating, eh? And then there's False Creek right there. And that would be downtown Vancouver because that would be David Lamb Park over there. And the trees haven't turned over there yet. They'll turn in a couple weeks. Generally around when we had the big picnic in David Lamb Park across False Creek here. And that would be David Lamb Park in the background there. This is Pier 32 over here. Mainly just businesses, a lot of offices. Unless you have a reason to come here, you probably wouldn't come here, except just to walk around. Anyone's allowed to walk around in these areas. Let's keep walking here. I'm just going to change my hands over, and uh, we'll get back over to Johnston Street and to the public market now. And over here, this is where the False Creek uh, Racing Canoe Club is. This is uh, some of the buildings that they keep their off keep their equipment in, as well as their offices. It's also a nice place to come if it starts raining really hard outside. And if you're into art supplies, this is one of the places to come. Opus Art Supply, and they can order you art supplies if you need it. A new framing as well. So we're back on a Johnson Street now. And let's head on over to the public market. I'll walk past the shop in the Crease House as we're heading on over there. And over here is actually a arts education, arts umbrellas right on over here. Arts education people for center for young people. <laughs> So pretty good cool, there. Eh? Let's keep going here on Johnson Street. And we'll pass by one of the last active spots here. There's a few other small shops here and there that are still doing industrial work on the island, but this is the biggest one we're gonna we're walking past right now, which is the Heidelberg Materials Factory. Hey Arlene, nice to see you. Hello from Scotland again. Love going into Roger's Chocolates. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Over here, here is the Heidelberg Materials Factory. So this is one of the last industrial sites here on Granville Island. And they're very, very active and they do building all across the city. And Metro Vancouver. So the larger Metro Vancouver area too. <laughs> And don't eat the squids, let us know that the Arts Umbrella Building used to be an arts college. Wow, very cool. <laughs> and, and Jeffrey's saying, hi Arlene. <laughs> so over here you can see some of the cement trucks that are over here from the Heidelberg area. And you can actually walk in here because there is an interpretive display here for giants. And that's for this piece of public artwork right here. And there's uh, both sides to it. So there's a few guys looking this way and one guy looking out on False Creek. So if you're on False Creek, you can see the other guy's face. If you're over on False Creek or over on the other side of False Creek. 
So definitely come on down and check that out. You can see one of the big mixing tanks there as well. And they specialize in cement and concrete. <laughs> Let's keep going here on Johnston Street. Oh, so bright out today. You can see the Granville Island Bridge above us here. And that'll take you from the west side into the downtown, from the Fairview neighborhood into uh, the, the downtown area just above Yale Town. And from here, you'll see lots of people carrying yellow boxes. And look like someone got their way. <laughs> Mom's handling it very well. That's an awesome mom. <laughs> and those yellow boxes, those are from one of our donut favorite donut places over here, Lee's Donuts. And Cardam Donuts is also very popular. And that would be the competitor of Lee's Donuts. But if you just want a regular Tim Hortons donut, that's good too. But these are extra nice, extra special donuts as we consider them in Vancouver. Worth a try. And over here, this is our lean spot. Rogers Chocolates right there. And you're gonna head on in. And it's got the bear right in front of it there. So got that in for you, Arlene, over there. And uh, Lee's Donuts actually has a little art studio at the back there called Honey Dot Studio, Honey Dip Studios. All right, hosts artists. So, worth checking out as well. Doing a little philanthropy in the neighborhood. <laughs> Peach, nice to see you too. Nice to see you on the stream. Good to see all the folks that are out here today. So, this would be the Richmond island public market right here let's go and see what that <laughs> no problem arlene i haven't been in rogers chocolates in a little bit i did pop in there once my dad wanted some chocolates so they were able to help me out with finding his favorite I think that was around uh, Christmas time. This is the Lee's Donuts line right here. Absolutely huge line. Look at that. I've seen it larger though. Definitely seen it larger. It's pretty quick. They, they have a good little turnover there. So don't worry if it's a long line. If you want to try out the donuts, try it out. They got everything from like mango dip donuts to like Honey crewlers with like extra stuff on them. It looks awesome. <laughs> and they change up every day based on ingredients that are available. Over here, you can usually find a busker. It looks like the buskers are just watting and chatting right now. So there it is right there. Andrew's like, Granville Island is boring. Go to the downtown east side. Well, you know what, Andrew? I'll let you go to the downtown east side and film that. I have a whole bunch of people over here who want to see Granville Island, so. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's great. I used to work over on the uh, downtown east side over 21 years ago, helping out with charitable organizations, so I've done my time there. It's now my time to be over here. <laughs> I have been to East Hastings. Sunrise, Hastings Sunrise area is very nice. Kojak Canada's uh, oh, po, pon, cash. I'm gonna try to pronounce that. That's the best I can do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but if you want to see the downtown east side, Life in Canada by Lucy does some really good videos, as well as Wandering with a Purpose does some really good videos. And uh, so, and there's still plenty of people who are going through that area of filming if that's what you're interested in. Okay. So at least I can recommend some people so that you can see some more recent content over there. <laughs> and Pon Cash, nice to see you too, Pon Cash Chanda. <laughs> I 
That's the, that's the best that I can do right now. I'll keep working on it. Wow, it is busy here. This is the food court over here. No one's really shy over here. <laughs> it's just crowded. Right here's the gelato place. They also do some pizza. There, you can see some pizza right there for you. It's actually pretty good. And they mix it up. Oh, they got pineapple pizza. I might get a slice for lunch afterwards. Pineapple and ham, a Canadian classic. Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> All right, here you can see the Fuji corner, and then you sushi. Oh wow, look at how packed it is here. Don't eat the squid. I wonder if busker Joshua Minsky still performs French songs at the Granville Island. He was great. The French performer is still here. I'm not sure if it's the same French performer, but uh, older gentleman, does some really good songs. Yeah, every once in a while, the French performer is still here, so. Not every day, but I'm sure that's just because he's booked. He is a very, very popular. Over here, there's more of an eating area. No, oh, don't worry, it's okay. Eating area. So you can come on in here and check that out. And then the Blue Parrot Cafe has got a little booth there. And they do uh, sandwiches and coffee. Very good. You can see plenty of eating spaces over here too. Right on over here in the middle. Yes, that's him. Yeah, tall guy. Yeah, we're talking about the same person. Here's uh, the Muffin Granny Cafe. These guys are awesome. So come on down here, check it out. Oh, butter pecan. Oh. And uh, one of my favorites over here, this is the, the Gourmet Walk. I'm gonna keep walking here. There's just so many people, it's hard to actually show stuff. I guess you're gonna have to come down here yourself if you wanna check out some of the food. At least you could come and people watch with me. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's Tara Breads. This is one of my favorites over here. They come up with this blueberry bread, a sourdough, 550 a piece, so, but it's good. And here's their hot crust buns. Another place to get hot cross buns would be uh, Comp's Bakery, but if you're over here on Granville Island, Terra Bread's is the place to come if you want some of that stuff. And they also have uh, German sausages here over at Kaiserac, and they do pierogies as well. And they do some damn good pierogies. So. <laughs> and pick up beer there too, apparently now, huh? Very cool, very, very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> Your favorite seafood. Had to go around someone to get around someone. <laughs> Don't eat the squids recommending Terrace a walnut bread. Yeah. I love walnuts. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> Not a problem. If some people are just like, are we allowed in the camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally, don't worry. <laughs> Vancouverites are so nice, that's the thing. I'm very, very polite people. Okay, what's up? Sometimes it takes a little bit to get to know them because there's a lot of people that just come in and out of Vancouver and stay for a few months and then leave. Okay, just because they're visiting on a long-term stay. And like some of the locals don't necessarily always want to invest their time in someone like that. Uh, so it takes a little bit. This would be Oyama Sausage, very busy. You can see another line right here. You come in those stores and you just line on up and you can get your sausage and food here. But if you're a local and you stay long enough, well, you know, you'll meet some people. <laughs> uh, people are great. Across the street here, this is Spiegel's. They actually have an oven at the back. They do it like Montreal. Go ahead. Definitely another great place, but like almost every place in here is awesome. I haven't run into anything that I don't like, so that's the best I can attest to.
passing Four Seasons Farms here. Okay, and you can see the giant towers of strawberries right now. <laughs> Two of these giant bins of strawberries for seven bucks. Wow, that's a deal. That's a deal. This is one of the places that people do like to come to to get some of their um, more higher end fresh fruits and vegetables. Other places are nice food produce stores, as I call them, like uh, City, City Avenue Market. They do a pretty good job. And over here, this is Sunlight Farms. So there's a few different farms in the area. Here's one that a lot of coffee lovers like in Vancouver. This is the local JG Bean over here. Not a lot of seating as the other JG Beans have. <laughs> and here is Toasted with the Most. They do jams and lots of syrups and all this other stuff. Provisions. We're checking out. So let's keep on going through the market. We'll walk around Sunlit Farms here and then we'll meander back through some of the aisles for you. See all the different produce and people just charging in. <laughs> there you go. I rest my wrist a little bit more than I do that. There you go. <laughs> and of course over here, this is Seafood City. You can see some of the produce right here. A lot of this fresh fish is great and they have a cut fresh fish as well or butchered fresh fish. Oh, look at this octopus here. Wow. Might be taco octopus or taco. And we're passing by Tenderloin Meats and Stewart's Quality Baked Goods. Oh, they got the raspberry tarts out today. Oh, I gotta show you the raspberry tarts. Oh, here's the raspberry tarts right here. These are so good. Check them out. And they got lots of other stuff here that you can check out too. So good, so good. Even chocolate stuff. And giant, giant cinnamon records, as they call them. <laughs> They're like flattened cinnamon buns. And of course, if you want any kind of nicely butchered meats, Tenderland Meats is right on over here too. Let's head on down this hall right on over here. Check out some of the mark, more of the market for you. <laughs> There's someone mowing on some tasty treat from Terra Bratz. <laughs> And passing through some of the local artisans. And over here, if you need the bathroom, this is where you go to the bathroom. Always good to point out when you're in the neighborhood. Hey, howdy. <laughs> and over here is another one. This is a Mondo's Finest Quality Meats. So you can see they come with like marinated stuff here too. So you can come on in and see some marinated stuff. <laughs> and pick it up, it's rather handy. And then Old World Fudge is across from them. So let's head on out. And then we'll come on back in for just a sec, check something else out. Uh, here's the outdoor patio for the Granville Island Public Market. Let's say they have all the different foods and stuff over here. Looks like they got the local and jam band artist in today. So we're okay. He just kind of freestyles it. So, <laughs> he's cool. I've given him change before, so come on over and give your artist change, if you still have your change. So many buskers, I already gave away my change over on uh, West 4th Ave. <laughs> but all of these guys are awesome. And over here, you can see, right here, 
all the different folks that are out here just enjoying themselves over by the Granville Island Bridge that is down here today. There is the Granville Island or the Granville Street Bridge right there for you from uh, Granville Island View. And check out on over here. There's False Creek for you. Now you got a few kayakers down there today. Very, very, very cool. You can actually walk down here too if you want. Just look at all the people though. And just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, there you can see some of the kayakers over here. Oh, we just saw those guys over at Alder Bay not too long ago. And there they are right there paddling away. Very, very cool. <laughs> Over there across the way, that's where you can catch one of the local ferries. That would be the Aquabus Ferry on over there. Okay, I'll probably take the Aquabus or the Falls Creek across. So, not quite sure what, but let's head on down. Let's head on over and down this part. I haven't been down this area in a while here. <laughs> Don't eat the squids like seagull wrestling time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. And you can see underneath the, here you can see all the different mussels that are stuck. Here, we are at low tide right now. Low tide. Looks like they're emptying out their boat there. They got a leak. Oof. <laughs> Such is life. You can walk down here. This connects over to the Falls Creek Ferries. And this gives you a waterfront view down here at Falls Creek. <laughs> There's one of the local seagulls. They don't look like they want to wrestle with me, so I think we're good to go, but <laughs> good question. Don't eat the squid. Good question. And you see a lot of the different yachts that are over here as well right now. So if you're wondering if you can walk down here while well, I'm showing you right now, you can. So you're good to go. And definitely good to go. <laughs> I'll walk on over here. And we're over here at the False Creek Ferries. There would be the blue boats. The rainbow color boats would be for the aqua bus. And you can come on over here and you can moor on up. If you want, if you have a boat, definitely something to check out if you happen to be in the neighborhood at this point in time. And down here, this would be False Creek Ferries. Are you heading on over to the sunset? That boat right there, okay, cool. Are you heading on over to sunset? Okay, no problem. <laughs> I wanna go see some friends. So I'll hang out over here, I guess. There's a few different boats coming on in right now. You can see all the different action that's in this area. And you can see all the different boats. These are gonna head on over to Vanier Park and Sunset Park, and then they come off and they drop people off over here. Okay. And that would be the aquatic center. So they're gonna come on over to that dock right there. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see who's available, who's not. <laughs> I can go on over there, film some videos for you folks, and then uh, meet up with my friend later for dinner. So it'll be a good time today. Definitely worth it. Look at that mountain view underneath the bridge there. Oh my goodness gracious.
And you can hear the French artists in the background there. So don't eat squid, he's right on up over here right now. There he is right there, just above us. <laughs> Good question. Thank you. <laughs> And you got a nice little window for you folks over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll pull out my money. <laughs> so we'll cross Falls Creek and we'll head on over to the Aquatic Center, which is it's over hey, by Sunset yes. Beach. Uh, the there, you got a front seat view. Yeah, so we're crossing. And you can see a little bit of the downtown and the west end over here. Okay, well, uh, can you do a little bit of extra? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then you can take a little bit of extra. Just the one way, my friend? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, man. Just keep the change. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> There you guys go, that's a little bit better of an angle. And here is False Creek for you. So we're on False Creek right now. And the bridge that you can see, this would be Burrard Street Bridge right on over here. And uh, this is one of the bridges that I'll probably take home tonight to head on back to UBC and the University Endowment Lands by taking the number two McDonald bus over that bridge and then it connects on over to the 99. That'll take me along West Broadway and West 10th Ave over to UBC. So, look at those mountains right there. It looks like the snow is starting to burn off the mountains because the weather is getting a heck of a lot warmer there. You can see some mountains further in the background there. Those are a heck of a lot taller mountains going over there. So um, and that's why they're going to be snow capped and they'll probably stay snow capped uh, throughout the summer as well. Very, very tall mountains. But over here, they got a couple of them with the ski hills on them and those are pretty much where the remaining snow is. Season is almost over. But if you still want to catch some of the snow uh, over on the top of the mountains, you got uh, another week or so to go on up there. Uh, and if you ski, you might know it might be a little longer. Who knows? And here we are heading inbound over to the Aquatic Center dock. And that would be the Aquatic Center facility in the background right there behind those trees. <laughs> you can't see that right now. That's Sunset Beach right there. Hey Elizabeth, nice to see you. Elizabeth says greetings from Ontario, Canada. I'm enjoying the market. Huge and boats on the water. Beautiful. Never been to Vancouver. Well, if you ever want to come here, we'll uh, take your money and show you a good time. So, uh, you know, we'll be here when you're ready to come. <laughs> It's going to be quiet yeah, for a minute, good. folks. Perfect. How are you making out on that run? Well, I'm finding people there. Okay. Just letting them moor the boat. Okay, it's our turn. Let's go. So right now it's four dollars on False Creeks Ferry to take it one way. Thank you very much. So that ride was four bucks, okay? And you can get more tickets if you want. No problem, Elizabeth. <laughs> nice to have you on the stream.
and we're walking up the aquatic center docks. There's the other side of the Broad Street Bridge, and that's the dog park down here at Sunset Beach Park. That dog park beach right there. And this section over here, this is the west end. You can come with me as I walk along the seawall path over to English Bay Beach, and we'll finish up over and by English Bay Beach and the Nookshook. So, still going to stream for a little bit longer for you folks, but uh, at the end, I'm going to chill on out and grab myself a coffee, probably over at uh, Delaney's over on Denman Street. And then I'll wander over to a friend's house to hang out until so we're going out for dinner. And Asif will meet up with us later. So there you go. Let's take a quick peek. There's some of the fees right there for you folks. You can freeze the frame later and take a look. But at least we got it on the camera for you. Oh wow, look how busy it is down here. Keep your eye out for palm trees. They'll get fresh leaves and greener. Sometimes in the winter time, especially the ones down here on Sunset Beach, they get hit with uh, some strong winds in the winter time. So they do lose some of their leaves, but the leaves grow back. And keep an eye out for some of the palm trees as they're going here. And these palm trees are not gonna be native to this area. They're actually Northern uh, palm trees from northern China, but uh, they were brought over here. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that absolute stunning display of cherry trees. Oh, the cherry trees over here, this is like, we do cherry trees first, and then we hand it off to Toronto at the end, and they do an awesome job over in Toronto yeah. at the end, of, uh, <laughs> at the, you know, around May. <laughs> Sometime in May, weather dependent, of course. There's some of our palm trees shedding some of their old leaves and then they'll grow some new ones. You can see a few of the new bright green ones at the top of the one of the palm trees over there that's growing on back. Look at those cherry trees though. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And there's three types of cherry trees over here in Vancouver that you can see. Okay, and they bloom at three different times. So we have a longer cherry tree season all the way from the end of March into April and then through May as well. And then every once in a while you'll catch one tree blooming at the start of June. So absolutely long cherry tree season and three different types. And I'll let you look online to see what are the three different types that grow on over here in Vancouver. Over here, this is Sunset Beach and the seawall path. And this is one of the largest recreational trails in the area. Over here is a little skateboarding and biking area for the kids. And you can see someone there learning how to rollerblade again. Very, very good. This is the place to do it. This is where people want. I want you to go look at this over here if you're looking into these wares these uh, wonderful women here are selling their wares so come on over here and spend some money it's looking absolutely awesome look at that beautiful beautiful <laughs> and you'll see that all along this path here it gets more uh, busy with uh, some smaller vendors uh, when you in the summertime Right now, you get a few of them on the good days when they come on out <laughs> when it's not raining. <laughs> Here's a few more of our palm trees over here at Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach is called Sunset Beach because you can sit on over here at sunset and see an epic sunset. Okay. And generally, the sunsets are right around there right now. And you also get a whole lot of people coming out to English Bay Beach. So tonight, we'll probably go over for dinner. And then we'll head on back to English Bay Beach, hang out with our friends, enjoy the sunset before we head on home. 
That's what you do in Vancouver. <laughs> so let's keep walking here along the seawall path. Look at those mountains in the background there. Wow. It's absolutely what I, I love. I love it. It's like whenever you see that big, big tall thing over here in Vancouver, it's the mountains. Back in my hometown in Toronto, it would be the CN Tower, of course. Not too many mountains around there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Different landmarks. Just bringing that nostalgia. <laughs> what are you talking about over there, you chatty catty? Yeah, you're on the camera too now. Nice to see you. <laughs> Local residents, the Canadian geese. <laughs> See, there's people already out here enjoying themselves on the beach, right on out there. They're having a picnic already, picnic basket. No, they got bags, but oh, wait, they have a little bag slash picnic basket. I've been talking to Asim about getting a picnic basket that is a, a more traditional one. That would be cool. <laughs> Just want to be a little kitchen out here chilling out on the beach. Great day to come on out. Lots of sun out here. Beach will be nice and warm, but not too hot. Definitely a good thing to say. Elizabeth, Elizabeth uh, sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth is saying, I shared your stream with my friend Jeff Leffer at Travel Fun 69 channel. Cool, I'll check that out later. <laughs> Very cool. Don't know all the different YouTube channels on here. I did reach out to T-Shaws over in Toronto. She was going through one of my old neighborhoods. I was just like, thanks for bringing me back to the old neighborhood. If you're ever in Vancouver, let's, uh, and you want to meet up, we can meet up. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Runner waving her hands as she's walking by. <laughs> That's Vancouver for you. Friendly people. Of course, you can see a whole lot of people out in the seawall today. This is the day. Just come on out, walk in the sunshine, enjoy it. We're not going to have it for very long. We're at the tail end of the rainy season. Then we'll be in the sunny season. But uh, these days are still a little far and few between. And rain all yesterday. So, of course, that's why you're getting a lot of people out today. <laughs> don't eat the squids like you walked through my old hood today oh cool so I was either a Kitsilano Fairview or over here in the West End <laughs> I'm over here a lot so I love the West End the West End's awesome So it's got a whole bunch of really great restaurants, really good beaches to chill at. <laughs> and uh, really awesome places to film. Arlene's like, I really need to, I need to come back soon. <laughs> well, Vancouver will be here. And again, like we were saying before, you know? <laughs> We'll take your money and we'll show you a good time. So Vancouver's here when you're ready to come to Vancouver. Don't eat as good as like Kits. Oh, cool, you lived over in Kits, yeah. Well, I'm over at UBC, so it's, uh, I would definitely say the west side is awesome. Of course, UBC is technically outside of the city limits of Vancouver in its own area called the University Endowment Lands. And people do live over there just as regular residents as well as people from the university community. And the whole area is governed by the University of British Columbia. So it's an interesting situation. We were just looking for housing. That's where we ended up. <laughs> but uh, definitely can't complain over there in the UBC area as well. And just because there's so many beaches. That's so awesome. One of my favorite places is Spanish Banks. Oh my gosh. And uh, Asif, when the weather warms up, he'll be over at uh, 
Rock Beach and Oasis Beach. <laughs> and that's home right on over there, way across from there. Well, it's not hard to get to, especially with the 99 bus. It's basically only a half an hour from here. So like you can travel to a different lot of different, a lot of different places here in Vancouver. Even if you want, just on public transit, it'll take a little bit longer than a regular car, but then you don't have to uh, find out, figure out where you want to park, which can be a little bit of a hassle, but not impossible. There's lots of parking places too. I just got to know where they are. So we'll keep walking here on the seawall path. And you can see, we got bonus beach right now because it is low tide. <laughs> I love Kitsilano though. I spent more time in Greek town than, though than uh, West 4th Ave. Just because that's where the 99 goes through. So we tend to go on over there. One of our favorite places over in a Greek town would be Serrano Bakery. City Avenue Market, and Mama Lee's, which is a Malaysian restaurant. They all do a really good job. We also like the Thai restaurants in the neighborhood, so. <laughs> Definitely a place to check out. If you, guys, if you folks are interested in it, don't forget to just uh, visit, don't forget to, don't just visit the downtown and the West End. There's lots of other places to check out on the west side and on the east side of Vancouver as well. I'll give a shout out to The Drive, Commercial Drive. That's another place in East Vancouver you can check out. As well as Fraser Street and Victoria Drive. Definitely awesome neighborhoods. <laughs> and again, also, uh, Hastings Sunrise neighborhood. Over on East Hastings Street. Just below New Brighton Park by the PE grounds. Nice little strip. A lot of good Vietnamese restaurants over there. So tasty. There we are. <laughs> More of the seawall path, and you can see the Inukshuk right on over there in the distance if you got some really good eyes. And uh, that Inukshuk's from uh, Expo 1986. It was brought in and set up there. And uh, it's been here ever since. And Inukshuk's are uh, traditional indigenous from the Arctic, so. And that would be uh, what we say in English as Inuit, but there is a, there is a more formal name from the indigenous communities that they use. So you can check that out online. And it just is something that people build to say, oh, people were here and to tell other people, especially in the Arctic where you can be alone for <laughs> a long time and then run into other people every once in a while while you're out on a hunting trip if you're an indigenous person so very cool and we got one down here <laughs> just to uh, just to make vancouver look awesome <laughs> and see some people over here and they build them on the rocks as well <laughs> and then they float above the uh, above the tide line that's cool <laughs> Oh, those dogs. Oh, that darker dog is really excited right now. <laughs> there's my friend, there's my friend, there's my friend. <laughs> Here's English Bay Beach right here for you. Manuel's here. Nice to see you, Manuel. What beautiful weather you are having. It's stormy and cold here in Germany at the moment. Oh, wow, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry to hear. Let's head on over to the other part of English Bay Beach just because it is busy. And uh, we'll end uh, over by the palm trees, uh, by the benches over at English Bay Beach. So just past the Cactus Club. Okay. And if you want to support the channel, you can hit the dollar side at any sign point in time. You can send me a super chat or super sticker. If you're watching the recording after, hit that heart button with the dollar sign in. You can send me a super thanks. And I also take donations directly through 
interact e-transfer to my email address, jforrester at gmail.com. And that's some ways you can support the channel. But most important thing you can do is hit that like button. And help push the live stream out to more people. Wow, look at that mountain view between the buildings there. Wow. <laughs> Elizabeth's like, Toronto had snow a few days ago. Yeah, I saw it on Ken, Ken from the Ken Continuum stream. We turned it on. We were just like, Ken's walking through a storm. We're just like, okay, we've seen enough. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really, it's been really snowy there. I also have co-workers because the company I work for is all over Canada and North America. Can't tell you more than that. But uh regularly work with people from the Toronto area because of that. <laughs> Shannon's like, when you said people from Vancouver were friendly, were you being sarcastic? No. But I would say it takes a while for people from Vancouver to warm up to you. So... <laughs> Ah, uh, there's snow in Montreal too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and the reason it takes people to warm up over here in Vancouver is because we do have a little bit of a transient community. There's some people that just come in for skiing in the winter time for a few months, and then they're never going to come back to Vancouver. Or in the summertime, coming for a few months, and then they're never going to come back to Vancouver. So locals are always a little bit cautious and investing time with people from abroad. It's just, just part, and part, part and parcel. <laughs> and we got volleyball players out today. There's gonna to be more, like, there's somebody just setting on up here right now. So it's gonna get busy. Every once in a while you get pros coming through here too. Not just recreational ones, but these guys over here, they look pretty good too. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Very cool. Whatever it is, right? Ah, thanks Elizabeth. <laughs> and Shannon's like, I was looking into property in Vancouver in this neighborhood. I always wanted to move to the city. Oh, this is a nice neighborhood to come into. There is a, the property prices are what they are, they're rather high right now, um, but uh, definitely a place to come to. If you got property over where you are in Montreal, well, <laughs> it's probably just as much as what you pay over here, just to, maybe a little bit more over here. But definitely a neighborhood to stay in if you're, if you're in and around the area. Like I said, we got friends on over here, <laughs> and they absolutely love living down here. So definitely a place to check out. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> some of the locals that we see over in the Davy Village in a while. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we got the lifeguards back on duty. That's great. <laughs> oh, wait, no, not yet. <laughs> Usually when there's someone hovering over there, the lifeguard stations back up and not yet <laughs> I was wrong <laughs> I also got to talk over this great music over here you can come down and play your music here again that's just a hazard I have to deal with as a live streamer due to copyright restrictions but YouTube provides the tools to resolve those issues so of course hey what can you say thanks YouTube for being awesome now just to give you a heads up I will be doing a vertical live stream sometime in the near future YouTube is asking us live streamers to do vertical live streams every once in a while to help uh, with our algorithm and to fine tune their vertical live streams. So I am part of that program, so I'm helping them out. So if you keep an eye out for that, there's a reason I'm doing a vertical live stream and then I'll usually come back to landscape for most of the live streams. There you can see the Cactus Club right there, busy as usual. <laughs> it's just bombing over here today. Wow, so many people. So many people. And here's the beach right here. See some soccer players having some fun out on the beach there. And you can see the container ships in the background there. They're either docked to come on in and unload their stuff, 
are uh, parked to come in and unload their stuff when it's their turn, or they're parked and they're going to head on out pretty soon. It's one or the other. And that's how it is on over here. Oh, wow, so busy here today. And look at that right on up there. There's our legendary palm trees here in the Vancouver area. <laughs> so cool, so, so cool. So anyways, very cool. I'm gonna chill out guys, folks. Thanks for coming along today and hope you enjoyed the live stream. Again, if you wanna support the live stream, you can hit that dollar sign anytime during the live stream and send me a super chat or a super sticker. And if you're watching the recording, you can hit the heart button with the dollar sign in and send me a super thanks. And then finally, I take Interact e-transfer donations directly through my email address, jforcefood at gmail.com. The most play, important place, the more important, most important thing to do <laughs> is hit that like button. It'll help shoot the stream out to more people as well as the recording. So thanks again for coming along and have a good day. <laughs> I'm all thumbs when I try to hit this end button. <laughs> Do 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 do